Everybody's a suspect. Coming to get you, Barbara. Hi guys, my name's Barry and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing things that I missed as well as things that maybe everybody else missed as well. I did a video called Things You Missed and it's just things that I went through with the trailer and seeing things that maybe you've missed first time round. But as always, I've missed things first time round as well and I watched the trailer a couple hundred more times I would suggest and there is things that I missed as well. I'm also going to be talking about fan theories as well, things that other people mentioned that they think they saw in the trailer. So I'm going to go through some of those and give you my thoughts on that as well. Now I'm going to be going through the same, if not similar, screenshots as I did the last time, but kind of giving a different angle on it. And the first part is with what we think might be Michael Myers going up to this door. And like I said before, it's definitely not Michael Myers. It's a, a younger person's breathing. I can't even remember if I mentioned the breathing, but it's made to look like it's definitely not Michael Myers in this trailer. They want us to know that it's not Michael Myers walking up these stairs. So I think that was supposed to be obvious. Although some people are suggesting that it's not obvious and they think, that's not Michael Myers. And I'm kind of like, well, obviously it's not Michael Myers. It's made to look like it's not Michael Myers. It's definitely an imposter. Maybe not a copycat, but definitely an imposter. There is a couple of theories going on online where people think this might be a dream sequence. Um, it could be a dream sequence. It's, I'll be a little bit too far-fetched to be a dream sequence because we already got something similar in Halloween H2O that was made to look like a dream sequence. But again, it could definitely be one. Another one could be like a reenactment of... Laurie's memoirs where it could still be like a dream sequence but her reiterating what her memoirs are I think that would be a little bit too poetic but we can never rule it out some people also suggested that this might not be Laurie's house it could be someone else's house that Laurie's been into knowing that either Michael or an imposter is going to be at I don't think that's the case because like I reiterated before there is a lot of medication at her right hand side of this shot so it would suggest that it is her house and her medication. Another theory is this video is flipped and it is Michael Myers and what you see is the left hand is actually Michael Myers' right hand. That would make sense if it was flipped. However, you do see the mask that's not burnt at the right hand side of the mask, which would then have to be the left hand side of the mask. So it's not burnt as it was in Halloween Kills. So it's definitely not a flipped image. Now I'm going to be talking about a character called Corey Cunningham throughout this video. Corey Cunningham to me was just a character in the movie. I knew that he was just going to be a character. But everyone is suggesting that he's going to be one of the imposters. Or if there is an imposter or a copycat, he's going to be the copycat. I'm going to run with it just now and guess that this imposter person is Corey Cunningham. Why is he after Laurie? We don't know. Why is he pretending to be Michael Myers? We still don't know, at least officially. Now, I still believe this is Michael Myers. This could be one of the finale parts of the movie. It might not be the final scene in the movie, but it's definitely going to be Michael Myers. There is a scene near the end of the trailer where she's fighting him again at the the waste disposal. Some people suggest that still might not be Michael Myers, but we'll talk about that later on. In my first Things You Missed video, I suggested that this was a scene from 2018. I didn't mean this was a scene from the 2018 movie. I suggested this was a scene that was set in 2018 where Laurie has just discovered the body of Karen because I thought this was the house of Michael Myers or the old Myers house. But upon watching it on my 4K TV with it a little bit lighter, it looks like it's the house that Laurie was in when she pointed her gun towards what could be the imposter and she, st she is wearing that same outfit in that scene as well. So why is she screaming? It could be that she's just shot an innocent person or it could be that she's told the innocent person to bugger off and she's sick and tired of it and she's screaming out loud because she just can't live with this anymore. It could also be her screaming, waking herself up from the monologue that she's in or the the kind of act that she's in and she wakes up and it's just a dream. Some people suggested that this character could be related to the Milanis. Obviously it won't be the Milanis from the 1978 flashback that we got because she's too young obviously. So it could be a relative of the Milanis and maybe that's why they mentioned the Milanis by name in the flashback of Halloween Kills. That's what you get when you fuck with the Milanis. I mentioned in the Things You Missed video that this could be Michael Myers' first victim and people suggested that no, this won't be the first victim. This is Corey Cunningham who 
gets away from Michael to become a copycat killer. And that might be the case, but also it could still be Michael's first victim. Corey could have also already been on his copycat spree and then ended up down in the sewers when Michael emerges. So he could still be Michael's first victim in the movie. Some people think that this character may be killed by Corey as well, acting as Michael Myers. But when you see the door open and you see that burn on the left hand side of the mask, yes, Corey could have stole the mask from Michael. Don't know how he would have done that. But it looks to me like that's the real deal Michael Myers. I say that this is Officer Hawkins. Uh, people say to me that he's not an officer anymore, he's probably retired, which could be the case. I know that he doesn't have his uniform on there, but he might have been in his bed sleeping. I don't know why he was sleeping on Halloween night, but he might have not been in uniform and he's been called as an emergency, or like you said, he might not be an officer anymore. This shot of Corey being strangled by Michael, you can clearly see that Corey has got a ring on his pinky right finger. And that is quite important because Hawkeye Dave McRae noticed something that I'll, I'll mention later on. What else have you mentioned that Alison was missing from the trailer? I don't know why you said that because I did mention Alison by name in one of the screenshots. But here's two screenshots of Alison that we clearly get in the trailer. And this is a shot I'm talking about with Dave Hawkeye McRae. Uh, I didn't even notice it myself but Michael Myers is wearing a ring on his pinky finger which clearly suggests that it's not Michael Myers. And as you can see from the mask at the mask's left hand side, it's not as burned as the original Michael Myers mask should be. And finally, this shot of Michael Myers' burnt hand and the, the fingers off it, people think that this isn't Laurie Strode fighting Michael Myers. Well, clearly it is. You are suggesting that there's coveralls that the person is wearing that's stabbing Michael, but it's not. It's just the angle of the light. Look at the floorboards. It's clearly the kitchen that Laurie Strode is fighting Michael Myers in. So there are a lot of theories with regards to this video, this trailer, and a lot of it is surrounded around about the copycat killer. Now there are no suggestions to say that Corey is the copycat killer. Now that's a little bit disappointing, but again in the trailer you can see that someone with a ring on their pinky is pretending to be Michael Myers, unless Michael Myers takes the ring off of Corey and puts him on himself, maybe as a token, I don't know, then it suggests that Corey is the copycat killer, or not. maybe not the copycat killer who's going around killing people, maybe just someone who's trying to scare Laurie Strode, but he's doing a good job of trying to kill her as well. Lately my videos have been a little bit shorter and that's because of my voice, it's still really sore just now, uh, it's getting a little bit better, hopefully it's going to be better by Saturday for the live stream. Um, but that's why my videos have been short lately, so I really do apologise. Hopefully this video is a little bit longer than the Things You Missed video, because this is things that not just you missed, but things that I missed. If there are still things from the trailer that you think that you've missed or I've missed, leave your comments down below. Let me know what I've missed or what we've all missed, and we can discuss it after this video. So as always, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.